If I had to use a single word to describe Honda as a company, I think the best word that fits is steady. They approach the off-road market with a calm and steady hand that results in products that work exactly as Honda intended them to. There's no brash displays of impatience and build quality is never sacrificed. And this is good. It gives the consumer great confidence that the vehicle they're buying will at the very least meet their expectations. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that it took a while for Honda to do a major overhaul on their best-selling model, the Rancher 420. This vehicle has been exceeding customer expectations for a long time, and changing it was a very deliberate and calculated process. Clearly, they succeeded last season, as the new 2014 Rancher 420 with a solid axle was a huge success. For 2015, the IRS version of the Rancher is all new from tip to tail, starting with its all new chassis. The focus for this vehicle was simple, improve ride quality and rider comfort without sacrificing anything else. Under the hood, the Rancher's 420 mil is the same one we've come to appreciate in past Rancher models. It's fuel injected for easy and predictable starting, and it's mounted longitudinally in the chassis, which gives the vehicle a very narrow midsection. It may only be a 420, but this motor has always impressed us. It really is bulletproof and 100% reliable, and it makes power in all the right places. With nearly the entire ATV industry moving to CVT style transmissions, there will be more than a few Honda fans disappointed that the all new Rancher still utilizes their electronically shifted dual clutch system. And yes, we are among them. But credit must be given where it's due. And the simple fact remains, there are still a lot of Honda customers who want that electronic manual shift option. Despite the new generation shift programming in 2015, we still aren't fans of the automatic mode. It simply doesn't respond to conditions or rider inputs fast enough and always feels like it's in the wrong gear. Whenever we ride the Rancher, we shift with our thumb. The restyling job on last season's solid axle Rancher was subtle enough that it still looked like a Rancher, but fresh enough that it caught buyer's attention. For 2015, the IRS model gets the same visual makeover. But the truth is, it's what's out back that really has us interested in this vehicle. Past versions of the Rancher lacked suspension travel big time. And while they tended to ride decent, they were anything but plush. This season, Honda upped the travel numbers of the Rancher IRS in a big way. One inch more travel up front and a full 2.2 inches more in the rear have transformed the Rancher IRS from stiff but livable to more than smooth enough. Total travel numbers are 7.3 inches up front and 8.5 inches out back, which are competitive numbers in the 400 class. With an increase in travel comes an increase in ground clearance as well to more than 9 inches. Other changes made for 2015 are a new gauge package with more information available to the rider, a higher output alternator, more powerful headlights, a thicker, softer seat, and finally, a new reverse actuation system on the left-hand brake lever. Power steering is still an option on both the solid axle and IRS Rancher models, and is something we feel a buyer should strongly consider ponying up the extra cash for at the dealership. At the end of the day, all this talk of new designs, more features, and longer travel, well, it's all just noise if it doesn't add up to an overall better riding experience. And in this respect, I've been very pleased. You could even say my expectations have been exceeded. The 2015 Rancher 420 IRS isn't just an improvement over the previous generation. It has become an entirely new vehicle that will appeal to a much more broad range of buyers. Longer travel and a softer seat mean a better ride and improved rider comfort for those long days on the trail and less fatigue when the trail gets rough. Better ground clearance means improved capabilities when the trail gets really gnarly and you're navigating tough terrain or hauling heavy loads around your job site or your home. In my opinion, previous Rancher models were far more biased to work than recreational usage. This new Rancher is every bit as capable when you need to get the job done, 
but provides a greatly improved riding experience when the week is over and it's time to play. I can't deny the fact that I'm still not a fan of the electronically shifted transmission, but with this all new 2015 Rancher IRS model, Honda has addressed almost every other issue that I feel was holding it back from being a legitimate 400 class option. If you enjoyed this video, post a comment and let us know what you think. Then click this link to subscribe and that link for more great videos from Dirt Tracks TV.